Hey, ladies and gents, we are back with some Avorian, and we are looking at uh, the mining raw salvage automated part of this game. Now, to be honest with you, in this game, if you're playing under the under, um, if you are playing under normal level, you can get away in this game by simply using the drops of weapons and all that kind of stuff to get inside the barrier. Once you get above normal, though, then you're really going to have to start worrying about um, building turrets, getting better weapons, and all that kind of stuff. The first part of getting to that point, though, is is you have to build a ship that's powerful enough to survive. Because, honestly, weapons really kind of suck out this direction. You're not going to get high-end weapons, uh, weapon systems, unless you get some really good RNG drops. And if you don't, then you're going to have to rely on the HP and shield uh, of your ship. So collecting materials becomes really important, especially Trinium, which is the, the, the area I'm at in right now. Now, before we were playing um, the original miners that I showed you, which were these ones down here, the Durandal and the Lady, um, used a mining laser that um, takes the material and processes it into actual Trinium and all that kind of stuff. However, the efficiencies on these mining lasers are stupidly terrible. They're like 17% of a asteroid, where the raws can be 18 or 80 to 90% where you're getting most of the materials at. So these ships are fine right here. Um, I might eventually go back to erase them, but I'm at the point where I don't really need them. Now, why didn't I do it? Why didn't I turn into, why didn't I use raw, raw mining lasers and the automated system down here? It's most to do with the fact, and we're just going to jump over here to this guy, is the lack of the ability to jump, um, or actually the jump the hyperspace window. Um, without that, the ability to jump any more than two systems, um, so if you're going to mine, for example, this area here with 923 asteroids, and you're using the raw salvage, that means you have to take the raw salvage or the raw mining material and you have to go to a depot to get it processed. So without being able to jump to it in one jump, you're going to do have to do multiple small jumps to get it there, which is going to be a lot of micromanaging. Um, I don't typically like to do that because it's a lot of time. So if I'm mining a system here and I got to go all the way over here to the resource depot, that's one, two, three, you know, there's three or four jumps there that I have to do and wait for a cool down unload the material and I have to jump it all the way back. So I usually don't worry, I don't start building the raw mining salvage or mining ships until I get into the Neonite where I can get the hyperspace cores or hyperspace jumps. But these, still these little mining ships down here are still worth the time because they start giving you at least a uh, basis to start with for material because not only material that you mine that you can use for uh, whatever you're doing with it, but you can sell it for cash. So these give you a quick start. I mean, between the two of them, there's only 2,400 titanium in either one of these ships. So they're going to be producing, they're still going to be making money for you and material that you can use. Uh, they're just not very efficient. So once I get past this point, once I get into the Neonite region and the Trinium level, I don't really care about these. I might eventually just go back and erase them because I don't need them anymore because they did their little purpose for early game. So let's jump up into where we are now, uh, which is up in here in the Trinium level. Um, I've kind of, I got, I'll be honest, I got super lucky with these, uh, wormholes. Um, I only had to jump this one wormhole here, traverse a little bit here and jump the next wormhole right into the trinium. You don't normally get this lucky. Sometimes you might spend freaking hours trying to find these wormholes. So I got real lucky to get up into this space here relatively quick. So we're going to switch to, uh, the mining craft here. And we're going to look at what I'm talking about with the whole mining thing. Um, the hyperspace jump up here. So let's jump up here. All right, so here is the new mining uh, vessel. Um, I, this was already a pre-made one. Uh, it does have roughly right around, and don't skimp on this when you get to this level. Um, the material for the most part, so this one's got, uh, what does it have for about 3,189. That's also because I have a system on here that increases that, which is a 
uh, here, a 30% increase in the relative part. So if I took that off, my actual cargo area is probably only like 220, 20, 2200, 2300. You don't need a huge cargo system, and I'll have to show you that in a little bit here. So the systems I typically use on here is I use a mining system. I use a couple turret controls, specifically unarmed because I'm mounting multiple mining lasers. And since these are going to be relatively expensive, this is about 60,000 trinium to build this ship. Um, and not only that, uh, the, sh the, the lasers on here are about, uh, this is about a million for these three, and it was about two million for this. So about three million worth of um, mining turrets on this thing. I don't want to lose these. Um, of course, I can buy the uh, token and all that kind of stuff here, but if I can keep it up longer, so that's why I have a t almost 30,000 worth of shields and 34,000 worth of hull. So I, of course, added a shield converter here to help with that. Um, and I also added the Quantum 2 uh, hyper up, uh, hyperspace upgrade. It allows me a larger area to mine. So this is typically the systems I usually work, I play with um, when I'm building these mining carriers or mining ships. We're not even talking about carriers yet. That's still the ultimate way to do this, but we're just going to go this little by bit. So we're going to jump over here. Now, this is the reason why you use the mining system. Um, this mining system highlights uh, asteroids. For example, this one right here that looks just like a regular asteroid, but is in fact fill, filled full of trinium. Uh, or did I already blow it up? Oh, I already cleaned that one out. So there is, there is asteroids that look like a regular asteroid, but if you break the outside edge, it is filled with actual ore. Um, that was, for example, one of them, but I apparently already hauled it out here. So we're going to show you with the raw... Um, now you're looking at... So the other ones, the beginning, the, the beginning miners, had a 17% efficiency. This one uh, typically have between about 65 and 80% efficiency. So you can see that I'm already picking up 4,000 quite a bit of neonite out of this one asteroid where normally I would have only got maybe a thousand out of this uh, neonite or this particular asteroid and I'm already at like 9,000. You can see of course the difference between the raw versus the uh, uh, processing mining turns here. So we picked up all that. Let's see if we can find a set of asteroids here to show you that uh, why that mining system is so nice because it picks up a lot of the asteroids that don't you normally can't see uh, or the asteroids that are covered in um, rock uh, there is not one here How about over there if not we'll just uh, go dump this yep right no he's still I already blew a hole in that one there's nothing in there anymore but believe me, that's the reason why you use that mining system, because that mining system locates asteroids that have trinium or whatever material you're looking for in it. You just can't see it because it looks like a regular asteroid. So now, with the, uh, of course, with the our mining turns and, and, and whatnot, you have to process that, which is going to be done at a, not a turret control factory. Um, why am I at this factory? I need to look for... There we go. I'm 15 kilometers away from there. The resource. We need to go to the resource depot. So we're going to jump over here to the resource depot. And we are going to drop our uh, unrefined ore here. And we're going to pay the whatever little bit of cost us to do this. And this is where you're going to get the big amounts of material. The reason why you want a whole bunch of material is you're going to have to build a pretty beefy ship. And to do that, you're going to need lots of material. So let's go in there. Let's pull up the tractor beam. Pulls us in. Come on. There we go. So let's interact. Let's send our refined ore in there. We're going to... So I'm going to take the stuff I already had in there. And we're going to send our... There's the neonite. It's going to take five seconds to do it. We'll start the refining. Um, I'm not... Of course... There we go. Now we're going to refine this. We're going to start the refining. And we'll be able to pick it up here in... There we go. Now I can take it. So the refinery tax is 3%. It's going to take 3% of the material amount of material we have there. So we are good. We've got our material out of it. Um, however, we have turned this into a... 
we're going to automate this. Um, now, we were talked about earlier with these yellow symbols up here. If your weakest ship is too weak compared to other ships in this region, um, blah, blah, blah. You only have to worry about it until that thing turns red. How does it turn red? It's pretty simple. Um, for example, I, I have one gun on here. I don't even actually have gunners on here. I just have the gun on here to keep that thing from turning red here. So let's delete that off here, and you'll see that it turns red. Your ship is very weak. The problem is, is with the red triangle is that there's a persecutor fleet that flies around, and it chases you down if you spend too much time in this region of space without um, without having uh, a powerful enough ship. Um, persecutor fleets are real big, big assholes because they will fuck you up and kill your ship, and you have to start all over. So... Simply by putting, for example, on this ship, putting one, um, uh, let's see here, let's put, where was that? Not the triple rail gun. Putting one, one, one little, actually I could put two on here, it doesn't really matter here. We'll put two on there. And it still, so I'm still in the combat, I'm still weak, so I can still put a quad bolter on here. And now it puts me in the yellow. You just have to add a few weapons. Um, you can just use the trash that you don't need. You just need to get up, I think, I do believe, like 250 Omicron. Or it's 200. I'm not sure which one it is. To get into, uh, for me to get out of the red into the yellow. Now, once it's in the yellow, I don't really have to worry about it. I don't even have to have, I, I don't even have, to have gunners for these. Um, they can just stay on there. As long as it's showing that I have the firepower... I go from the red to the or from the red to the yellow. Now the persecutor fleets aren't going to fuck with me. It's something simple like that. I, you don't want to lose a, uh, one of your mining ships to the persecutor fleet. So those three those three turns are something I'll never use. Uh, they're just now they're essentially trying to keep this thing from dying. However, I'm going to turn that one off. We're going to change out the. Um, Yeah, apparently I do have enough gunners for that. So I have I have one one that does fire. I guess I could turn that. I could just drop the gunners down. Yeah. So now none of those will fire. Uh, none of the guns will actually fire. Or I can put them in. I could just simply put these in a uh, sorry uh, a grouping. Put them at two, and then just turn them off. That works too, just as well. So the guns are just on there just to keep me out of the red. Uh, you will, if you jump this thing around enough, um, it, the persecutor will, fleets will find you and they will chase you for a couple sectors. You don't want to lose your ship to one of those. It's just, it's just, it's just fucking embarrassing, really. <laughs> so we got this thing set up and ready to go. Um, to make this work, of course, you're also going to need a captain. So make sure you have a captain on hand um, to do this. So we got it up. We have a sector already uh, looking at here, which is 2,826 asteroids. So we're going to choose the mining one. Now there is a su uh, re uh, supply de or a resource depot here, so we're going to jump over to it, set the ship to mine, and then we're going to bring it back to um, refine the ore. Uh, essentially, we're using shift. Now I use a triangle to make this jump. I don't go directly over and directly back. It's uh, sometimes the lines get crossed and you don't get it right. Even I do this, I don't know how many times, I sometimes fuck it up. It's just what it is here. So we are going to jump. So there's our, there's our goals. So we're going to jump there. We're going to jump here. And then we're going to mine. And then we're going to bring the ship back. And we're going to refine the ore. There we go. And the reason why it's not moving right now is because I'm in the ship. As of course, you're seeing it's piloted by a ship. I need to get out of the ship to do this. But this is how you set this up. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the ship. I'm jumping to one point. I'm jumping to the next point, which is where the asteroids are at. Turning it on the mining. It's going to mine that. Once it's full, it'll jump from the mining back to this area where it's at right now. And it's going to um, refine the ore. So that's that. That's how you do this whole trip. And I usually, like I said, I usually use a triangle. It's just easier to see the actual jumping. So now I can just leave this thing go and not have to come back and do anything. It'll continue to do that until it completely mines that sector out, which is going to be probably hundreds of thousands of material or that's going to mine for me. So that's the mining part of it. Let's, uh, we'll stop it here. And then let's look at salvage. Salvage is the actual go-to um, choice 
for picking up massive amounts of material. Mining works great, but salvage is the way is the way to go for sheer m amount of material that you want to get. Same basic setup on this ship. Looks exactly the same as the other one. You're going to be building multi multi use ships. Um, this is a multi use ship that works great for mining. And when later on when I get into using mining um, mining fighters and salvage fighters, I'll just put a little on the side here. I'll put a, a carrier base, and I'll have fighters on here. So these multi-purpose ships work well for just about everything. Uh, these are, you know, it's not exactly the, the cutest thing in the world. It does get the job done. Salvage ship doesn't set, I don't set these up much different either system-wise. Um, this one has the shield converter. It has the hyperspace jump. It also has the turret control systems. I don't need to have a mining system on here, obviously, because it's a salvage deal. This one I'm using is a high-tech trading system. I'm checking out the trading overview of areas that I'm if I'm salvaging in here to find out where's the best place to start putting stations. Always thinking ahead, right? So let's jump out of that, and we're going to salvage. What's the big What's the big difference in shell salvage versus is the sheer amount of or quantity of material that you get in a ship? It's kind of what you call. Um, it's much more concentrated than you will find in an asteroid here. Let's find a ship to... Is there one in here? I also like to park this ship here in this plate in this area because there's a crap ton. This this faction is at war with another faction and it leaves... There's a lot of ships jumping in here um, and getting destroyed. So leaving this guy here. Now you can, of course, automate this salvage. I tend to use the salvage a little bit more uh, hand... By, uh, use it um, doing it by hand uh, because uh, when you're salvaging things not only you're getting the, the material from the salvage but you're also going to get turrets and systems from wrecked ships um, if you leave it on automated it doesn't always pick up all that stuff unless it's close enough here so there's our first wreckage uh, let's look here let's let's wait till these guys get destroyed first I'm not terribly sure if it's the same thing where it used to be if they uh, the Zotan see one laser beam they turn into enemies um, right now we have generally decent, uh, we generally have a decent, uh, yeah, we're, de we're, we're generally decent diplomacy with these guys. So, um, once they, once the ships in here blow these Zotans up, of course I can go sell it, salvage them as well. So there's a big, nice big chunk of salvage. Um, but apparently the guys are going to dick around with each other, so we're not even going to worry about it. However, the salvage is pretty sweet also because you can um they are what they call salvage systems which are located uh where is you at there's a salvage system here i know i was just in it not that long ago normal trading post um but if you find a salvage system and you build a decent salvage ship you can jump in there and pick up a lot of stuff lots of material come on where are you kidding me Oh, wow, you know, you get, you get get ready for these videos, and then you lose your spot. Am I missing something here? Am I that far off? I must be. I've totally lost my salvage. Where's my salvage at? Come on, fellas, help me out here. You, you know, and there, that's the other thing is that there's little things here where you can actually just simply, you know, tag the sector where the salvage is at. I think, wait, I think we might have found one up here earlier here. So where's the salvage at? Salvage, salvage, salvage system. It'll it'll say salvage system as well. There's a says right there. That's a scrapyard. So we're going to jump up to that scrapyard to make this work here in a reasonable amount of time. So now they're already blowing a bunch of these up here. I could stick around and salvage these guys out here, but we're not going to dick around because they're going to mess with each other for a while here. So we're going to jump up to that salvage system and show you what salvaging layers are, why they are the perf things, versions that you want to use and not. Mining's still great. You still get a lot of material at, but for um, sheer quantity, the salvage laser is quite a bit better. And this salvage laser is of course about three and a half million. I'll show you to you. I'll show you the specs when I get up there. 
Um, you're going to spend some serious cash on decent salvage lasers. So, all right, where was that scrapyard? So it says scrapyard. What scrapyards mean is that there's going to be a crap ton of broken down ships that you can s to um, salvage or, s or scrap. So we're going to jump there. You can do this. Scrapyards will be found in every faction you go to, even at the beginning. Um, you can use, you can buy salvage lasers to actually do it. So let's jump over to the scrapyard here and we're going to minus materials. The great thing about scrapyards is not only the material you get down ships, and there's actually a, might be a chance, depending on the ship, um, of finding some uh, cargo. Well, maybe not. I, I haven't yet to find cargo in the last couple packs, uh, packs, um, patches. Uh, so this system seems to be look like everything. It looks like it's to be a lots of probably neonite, which isn't a bad thing. Um, some systems are going to have lots and lots of tritium, that kind of stuff. So to salvage in this deal, you need to get a, buy a salvage license. Um, any place other than here, you don't need a salvage license. You can salvage any system that, but is in the scrapyard system, you have to buy a salvage license. So what you're going to do is you're going to talk to the salvage of the scrapyard here. And we are going to go to the scrapyard and we're going to talk to, and we're going to just do a quick five minutes one, buy license. So the buy license is, and now I can do whatever I want. Now, the thing about the scrapyard is, you don't, um, to get the most bang for your buck, you look for ships that have engines still on the ship. So you see that on the back side of that, there's engines, right? Okay, that's the engines. That ship right there, or that chunk right there, doesn't have any engines. Those chunks like that have been pretty much stripped of anything that's really great. Um, we'll see here, and I'll, I'll might as well salvage it right now. Um, you can see that the, I'm getting a, a, a decent, not not the great. Yeah, you're only talking 10, 20 little chunks of trinium here. Um, 27, 33. So I'm blowing up a lot. You'll get some turns out of this, and you'll get some cash out of it. But since the ship has no engines showing most likely that means the ship has already been stripped of all the important pieces so yeah i'm getting a little bit of a scrap training oh that see i got some cattle out of the deal there was some cargo there on that ship now you can tell by the ship um some ships will look like this is probably a warship so the systems on this ship are probably going to be um generate more what a warship is going to have right um if you get a ship that looks like a for example, that one, a cargo ship, the systems that you're going to find on that are probably going to be, you know, trading chips or trading systems and all that kind of stuff. So if you want specific uh, specific systems, you're going to have to target uh, specific ship designs. This one, I'm not sure, looks kind of like a possible warship. And all this one's got the engines installed yet. So this means it hasn't been stripped of all of its important pieces. So there's probably going to be a ton of material on this ship. Yeah, see, we're already up to, uh, yep, 16,000 plus, 9,000. Just the difference between something that didn't have an engine and something that did have an engine, or engine showing. This usually means this thing, the systems inside of it, the high-end blocks have not been stripped. So you can see me here, and I'm, I'm specifically pinpointing, um, Let's jump out in the probe here to get closer. Um, see the see the systems of the blocks here that are showing green. Those are high end blocks, which means they have a lot of material. This block right here doesn't have any high end material in it. It's stuff that has the glowy parts like that, or the glowy pieces like this piece right over here that shows the um, these are high hyper, hyperspace cores or shields or whatever. These have the high end material, so those are the kind of blocks that you wanted to really focus on. This block here that shows nothing, um, I'm looking at it, is probably just a blank hole. It's probably only got 15 pieces of neonite in it. This one over here has probably got 1,000 or 2,000. So when you're, of course, salvaging, you want to kind of pick your blocks. You can salvage the whole thing if you got the time. If you don't, you want to pick just... Um, so like I said, for example, this is an engine. Engines usually have the high number of blocks, and these guys do as well. You might have to blow to, to get into there, but those are the pieces. I don't have to take the whole ship, just the high-end chunks. So you can see that I'm really breaking the pieces up here. And it's going to start warning you when you can... You're going to have to stop salvaging. 
Alright, so there's another piece right in there. There we go. We got him out of there. And there's some more stuff right there. Those are some high-end ones. Those are That's iron, actually, but hey, we can use some iron, too. And we're going to keep blasting away here. Now I'm just going to take the whole ship here, because there might be a chance there's um, some turrets in here that'll pop. And, of course, there's always cash that flows out of there. Little bits of money, that kind of stuff. Nice big chunk. So you can see the difference between mining something that has those engines still on them, that which means they're still available. And so I got about 60 seconds here before my license runs out. So we're going to pick up just in this one, or these, just these two little ships that I did here, um, quite a bit of material. Thirty seconds. Can I get all of it in thirty seconds? Of course, I can just extend it. I can buy up to an hour uh, to do this here, but we're just going to do this for now to show you. Okay, runs out in twenty seconds here. We're not going to take the chance of ruining our reputation here. So that's knocked out. See the little yellow floaty? We picked up some extra cash here, probably you know maybe a thousand extra cash here um, by doing that. And let's see what we got out of those two. Um, those two chunks that we salvaged. Oh, uh, we got 17,000 and 32,000 neonite. Literally just for that little bit of work. So you're talking, you know, this is the difference between salvage and mining. <coughs> the, the salvage parts have, the sal salvaging pieces have such higher concentrations of material. Um, Time-wise, you can't beat salvaging. So, with that said, we are probably going to be done until the next one, which is going to be here shortly, probably next tomorrow. Um, we're moving quite a ways along inside the, um, the game now. It's starting to pick up some steam here. Uh, yeah, so here's some other pieces here. You could probably even go through here and scout it out um, and see what ships are still worth it and which ones aren't. So there's, there's a no-engine one. There's a no-engine one. Um, trying to find them and not like these parts don't have uh turrets and systems in them but like i said right there oh, right there's one that's probably got you can see the green sticking out this one probably has engines on the back yep there's engines on that one no engines on that one so this one's probably the one that you want to salvage because it'll, it'll have the most amount of material that big chunk there doesn't have engines on it doesn't look like so yeah there's the difference so with that said, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, you guys have a good night. Hey, ladies and gents, we are back with some of Vorian, and I finished the other video, and I found essentially what this is, is a wrecked station, and this is where the whole salvage thing comes in pretty harsh, or where the difference between how much material you gain and how much uh, versus salvage versus mining, so... I found this, I've, so far I've got almost 300, uh, well, 320,000 out of it. And you can see here, what the, the wormhole leads way up here, and there's of course a, um, when we get up there I'll show you the wreckage here. Uh, and this is why uh, the salvage ones are so nice. Now we're, we're of course going to have to start working on, you know, salvage fighters are even better yet, uh, but right now, seeing where we're at. Um, this is one of the better ways to pick up a crap ton of uh, 320,000 um, roughly of from the station. And this is my third go at this. I can only hold so much because these are this is a relatively small. There's the wreckage right there. Relatively small salvage ship. I don't have um, you know this isn't like my other game that I play where I have a, uh, a ship with one million. Um, cargo hold. So I got to play it a little bit, a little bit longer here. So we're looking for, the, of course, those blue parts in there. That's where we want to get into. And you'll see when we hit them, exactly how much salvage we're getting out of it. And this is probably the easiest way to pick up massive. Uh, so 53,000 Zanion, or uh, Trinium with that sh little block destroyed. We'll pick up some more here. There's a lots of these big blocks in here. So once we get in there, um, We'll be able to pick up lots and lots of scrap trinium. In fact, we'll pick up so much here that uh, it's going to fill up my ship pretty quickly. And that probably is... Yep. 
filled me completely up in about, I don't know, 164,000 Turnium that quickly. So yeah, this was kind of a, a little bit extra add on there just to show you kind of how much um, you're going to get more out of the salvage than you are out of the uh, mining. So with that said, guys, we will see you. I always forget about the load, so that kind of screws you. So we're going to take this back to the resource depot. We're going to drop it, and we're going to pick up the ones that we had just dropped off. And, um, yeah, so we're just salvaging trinium right now. All right, so we're going to drop it off here quick and pick up the stuff I dropped off last time, which is... I'm, I'm going back and forth pretty quickly here. So that's 360. So we're at about 520,000 trinium just on that one wreck in a matter of a few seconds. Well, maybe more than a few seconds. It's taking me a little while to go back and forth here. I don't have anything scoped out at the other end up there, so I'm kind of stuck using this depot. So we'll take that. We'll unload this, and we'll restart finding here. So that said, guys, thanks for watching, and um, yeah, have a good night.